First, if you guys are thinking, how do my widgets go so well with the wallpaper? It's because I'm using this app called Widget. And it's got this big bag of free material designed live widgets that you can customize and place on your home screen. And all of this is absolutely free. So for every kind of widget, there's a bunch of pre-designed themed widgets. But guess what? Depending on your wallpaper, you could choose from material, dark or light theme. You can then even change the color manually so it matches your wallpaper even better and play with the transparency. So depending on what you like, uh, how you like it on your home screen, you can create a widget. And yeah, once you're done, you place it on your home screen, just long press and resize it and you're done. Now, next is this simple yet very beautiful weather app. It's called Sense Weather. So obviously you can add as many cities here and the card for each city kind of tells you the weather with its own why. So clearly you can say that, you know, Bangalore is cloudy, Paris is clear, Rome is clear, but slightly warm. And so if you open the card right here, you could just flick and it will tell you hourly forecast and, you know, day wise forecast. So yeah, and it's pretty smooth. Like, you know, the interaction is absolutely blissful. Also, when you long press, it kind of makes the sound of the weather of what it might sound like. So for example, in this case, right? Or if I go over here in New York, because it's about night time there. So it's pretty cool. Now guys, on the iPhone, it's actually very easy to reach to the top of the page, right? You just tap at the top here and it just scrolls up right to the top. But you can get the same functionality on your Android phone as well. The app is called Tap Scroll. And whether it's an article that you're reading or on a chat or a list of chats or scrolling through Instagram, it works everywhere. You can even double tap to go to the bottom of the list. Now guys, we all work with PDF files and we know that viewing PDF files is actually free, but when it comes to editing, that's where it becomes tricky. But with UPDF, also the sponsor of today's video, it becomes super simple and at a much lower cost than let's say Adobe or PDF Escape. Let me take you through it. So obviously you can view PDFs, right? That's sort of given. But if you click on edit, the app automatically identifies text, links and images and so changing a text or an image is as simple as doing this. Now, let's say you're reviewing a document. You could leave comments. You could just, you know, use the highlighter tool to highlight text or even underline some text. You also get full flexibility to organize pages. You can add more pages. You can select the pages and then delete them, or you could just extract them out as an independent new file. You could also combine multiple PDF files or image files and put them together as a new PDF file if that's what you want. You can even convert or export your PDF files into any of these popular formats. And if you want, you could just quickly compress your PDF into a smaller size if you want to send it over. And actually guys, there's a whole lot more to UPDF. I've also done a full dedicated video. You'll get it here on the card if you're interested. And I'll leave some links in the description along with a discount code if you're really interested. Now let's move on to the next app. Now, you know, I love getting nostalgic on music that I used to listen to when I was in undergrad or even back in high school. And one of the best ways for me to do that is just to install this app called Rewind. So you just open the app and scroll to whichever year you want to travel back in time to, and then you'll get all the tracks of that year. And this should give you a pretty good idea whether you're in the right time of your life. <laughs> and then just click on the song. You can hear a preview to make sure that is the song you wanted. Uh, it's not gonna play the entire song or you can preview in title. But the important point is you get to know the names of the songs of that time. You can also look at the top albums during that time, the top music videos, who was the rising star, any news surrounding the artists and all that. All in all, I think it's a great idea. Uh, the only thing I wish they had was that we could play music on YouTube Music or Spotify instead of just Tidal. That would be excellent. Now, guys, if you like this home screen setup, it's probably because of the icon pack. It's so cool. And clearly because it's got this retro 8-bit pixel look. Not surprisingly, it's called Retro Mode Icon Pack and it's got over 3000 custom icons for your apps, which is actually pretty good. It should cover about 90% of popular apps that you may have on your phone, which is great. And these are so high quality. Just take a look at that. Very good. And yeah, it's a pretty healthy pack. There are just so many icons. You're very well covered with this icon pack. Now there's also matching wallpapers that you can use. And all of these are like, you know, that 8-bit pixel look, but I do hope that the developer adds more uh, over time. 
Now guys, the retro icon pack is not free, but I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to retro icon pack. I'll hand them over to you first come first serve basis. Now guys, there are a lot of healthy and important things that I should be doing to get better and healthier. But keeping track of those things is the most important to get successful at that. And that's what I do with Loop Habit Tracker. And what I love about it is the simplicity of the app. You do something, simply long press and mark it as done. You could also mark something done back in time. So if you forgot, just go back and do it. Adding a habit is simple. It gives you two options, a yes or no, or something that can be measured. For example, how many miles you ran or how many minutes of meditation did you do? You can set the frequency of this habit and also set a reminder if you'd want one and give it a color to differentiate and that's it. Also for every habit, you can see how consistently you've been doing it by the day or by the week or by the month and also which days you've been doing more of it. And you know, the good part is that all of this is free and you can create as many habits as you want to keep track of, unlike most other apps out there that require you to pay at some point. All right, that's it guys. Those were the top apps for the month of July, 2023. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel guys, and hit that bell notification icon. And don't forget to mark all, really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.